In this video, I'll show you how to change the variable product price display in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So this video is based on this particular article that we've created and will show four different ways in how you can change the variable product price display. I'll leave the link in the description below to this article, which has the code that will need to change the price display. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. I should mention before you add any code to your site, just make sure you back everything up. Okay. Just as a safety precaution. Okay, so the first method we're going to be using is we're going to display the minimum price for the variable product. So if we've got a variable product with three variations, probably $10 being the lowest, $100 being the highest, maybe we just want to display the $10 first, right, to entice customers to actually click on a listing. Okay, so we'll go with this method first. Okay, so we'll just copy the code here and then we can paste it on our website. Okay, so we've got a few places in which we can add this code so we can add it to our theme function.php file. Ideally, you'd want to add it to your child theme function.php file or you can use a code snippet plugin okay so i'm going to head over to my dashboard here and i'm using a code snippet plugin okay so again i'll leave a link in the description below to an article which shows you the various different methods in how you can actually add a code to your website okay so i'm just using this snippet plugin here so i just clicked add new and now we can go ahead and add our code here okay so we can give it a name it's just for internal purposes okay and then we'll just paste in our code and then we'll hit save changes Okay, and now when we view a variable product, it will show the lowest price first, okay? So let's go here. So we'll check it on the archive page first, and then we'll check it on the product page. Okay, so here we can see the lowest price. So we can see 100 grams is actually $3.50, right? And then 250 grams is $7.50, okay? So that's the first method. The next one is we're gonna actually show the maximum price first, okay? So let's go ahead and scroll down. So as well, if you go on the article, so we'll explain what each individual part of the code is actually doing, okay? But we're gonna ignore this for now and let's go ahead and copy the code for the maximum price. So let's copy this and then let's go ahead and paste it into our snippet area. So let's delete this one and now we'll add this one here. So let's save changes. Okay, and now let's refresh our page. Okay, and here you can see we're displaying the maximum price first, okay? For me personally, this isn't very user friendly. So the next code we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to the lowest price, but we'll put from first, okay? So let's click back over to this article and in here it will show the price range from, okay? So we'll copy this code and we'll go ahead and paste it in here. Okay, and if we wanted to change the text in the from, well, we can do it here, okay? But first let's save changes and then let's have a look first and then we can change the text if we want. So that's saved fine, so let's refresh this page. Okay, and here you can see it says from $3.50, which makes sense. So this is a lot more user friendly, but let's say for example, if you wanted to name it something else, we can say from, okay, so here you can see it says from blah, blah, blah. And then obviously just name it something appropriately. So now the final price display change we're going to do. Okay, so the final change we'll do is we'll actually display the price based on a variation selected. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy this code here. And then let's go ahead and delete this one. Now we can paste in our new code. So let's refresh this page. Okay, so here we can see the price range. And then when we select this variation, we can see the price change here and we can see it being changed in live here. Okay. So again, this is a lot more user friendly and that's a quick and simple way to change the variable product price display in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you got any questions, leave in a comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.